So in this video, what I'm going to do is kind of give a little bit of a tutorial, if you will, about how I do the Victor sound effect when I do Victor voices for League of Legends videos that I do. And I learned how to do this from Stefanos Rex, so what I'm going to do at the end of this video is actually link his channel because he has a bunch of tutorials about how to sound like various different League of Legends champions, and I think you should go check that out. And I learned how to do this from watching his videos and his Victor video. So, one of the things you're going to need for this video is Audacity. It's a software program, but that's kind of it. You won't need any additional extensions, any additional plugins, or anything like that. You just need Audacity. And I'm going to go through this step by step about how it works. One of the things with the Victor video, or Victor voice in particular, I should say, is it's mostly the voice more so than even the effects. So if you can actually get the voice right, then the effects will probably clean up whatever maybe doesn't sound quite like them to your liking. It's going to be a little bit different depending on your voice. If your voice is a bit too high, you can drop it using like the change pitch effect, which I'll show you that in a second as well. So for a line, I'm going to use the same line that Stefano's used in his video when he did his Victor tutorial. And the voice kind of sounds, I never get the voice actually quite right to be honest. But it's kind of something like this. I am the Inventor, Bold Experimentor, drawing as my acolyte and I will be your mentor. How come no one wants to play with Victor, eh? I have a, a cool hand, it's a cool claw, big stick, it's like summer camp all over again. Nobody wants to play kickball with Victor. Probably should hit the record button for that too, so I'm gonna actually do that again. How come no one wants to play kickball with Victor, eh? I have a, a cool hand, it's a cool claw, big stick, it's like summer camp all over again. Nobody wants to play kickball with Victor. And then you stop the recording. And so, right now the file isn't really that great right now. It's not going to sound anything close to Victor yet. And again, if your voice is a bit too high, the effect I'll show you right now is you go to the effect tabs at the top. You go to what's called change pitch. And then you can lower it a bit or raise it a bit if your voice is maybe too low. We're not going to mess with that right now, but I just want to show you that real quick before we continue on. What I personally like to do also after watching Stefano's videos is I go to effect, go to compressor, and then compress it. And part of this is why is in these empty spaces here, sometimes you'll see background noise. There's not a lot of background noise in this particular video, but I just kind of do this by habit anyway so I can show you how to do it. If you do have background noise when you record it and there's like an empty space, highlight it, go to effects, go down to noise removal, first get noise profile. So it can just get the background noise right there. Then the following thing you do is highlight the whole thing by most likely just clicking over here so it highlights the entire you know, voice audio file, if you will, go back to noise removal, and then you go to hit OK. And what's going to do is going to take that little uh, serpent of, uh, section, if you will, of background noise, and then remove it from the entire video. Kind of helps clean up the audio a bit. Then again, you can go back to compressor if you want to. Compress it again if you want. If you're lacking a little bit of bass in the voice too, you can go to equalization. Go to bass boost under select curve. Hit OK. But we're nowhere near done yet, because first what we have to do is click on the file, hit Control D to duplicate it, so you have two files now. On the first file, now we're going back to pitch, change pitch, if you will. You want to lower that first one by about negative five. You want to go to the second one and lower that by about negative ten. This is also varies if your voice is deeper, for example, you might not actually have to do it that low. But, when you do that, that's going to start the effect a little bit, if you will. Then you want to actually go over to your gains, which is, if you see these little lines over here, there's like the R and the right one, the L and the right, and then there's the minus and plus one. The gains is the minus and the plus one. Lower that by about six on both of them. Then to highlight both of them, press shift and then click so that they're both highlighted. And then go up to what's called tracks, mix and render, and then you let it mix and render for a bit. And then right now, that should merge both the files together, but for the helmet sound effect, because right now, it might sound close, but it's not going to sound exact, and I'll show you an example before I do the helmet sound effect, if you will. How come no one wants to play kickball with Victor, eh? I have a, a cool hand, it's a cool claw, big stick, it's like summer camp all over again. Nobody wants to play kickball with Victor. Kinda close, maybe not exact, but there's still the helmet effect that's missing from Victor. And I'll show you how to do the helmet effect, and I'll also show you how to know if you're doing the numbers right or not, in case you these numbers look like, oh, that's kind of complicated, but it's actually 
not too complicated. What you want to do is you want to highlight the track, go down to what's called Echo, and leave the bottom decay factor at 0 0.05, but the top one has to switch to 0 0.005. And the way that you know you've done this right is if you hit OK, it should take about two to four times as long to apply the Echo to however long the clip is. So this is about a 14 second clip, so it should take almost like a minute, if not longer, to actually apply this effect to the actual video. So yeah, this is how you kind of know you've done it right. If you didn't do it right, it'll do the echo effect near immediately, and that's kind of how you know you've done it wrong. The helmet effect should take a while to apply, and as such, I'll fill the time right now by saying, with the video, or with the Victor effect, there are different ways you can play around with it when it comes to the accent to also try and change how it sounds or not, adding different, you know, bits of, like, I guess, bass in your own voice, sounding louder or not, to try and change that up a bit. It's mainly the voice, so if you practice the voice, that's probably the best and, like, easiest way to do the Victor voice more accurately. This effect kind of just adds on top of that a little bit. Like, again, like I said, if your voice maybe is already too deep, you could try raising the pitch a bit. If your voice is a bit too high, you can try lowering the pitch a bit first before you actually go and then, you know, duplicate the tracks and do stuff like that. Now, when it comes to the Victor videos, I haven't done one in quite some time. I think the last one I did was the Man's Not Hot parody back in, like, November. This is a little bit of insight about why sometimes those videos take a bit long to do, because this is only a 14-second clip, and it's still taking a good minute and a half to just apply the echo effect. So when I do something like the 10-minute video, Victor video, I did, like, back in the summer, that can take quite some time just to render it before I can get into editing the video. So I do owe you guys more Victor videos though with that said, I did start a series called Victor Sings Badly, in which case I take a certain popular song, sing it as if it was Victor, but purposely sing it badly, that's kind of the gimmick if you will, that it's not only just Victor singing the song, but it's also him singing it badly because that's not a really great singing voice honestly. Stefano's Rex actually did a good job at this. In the This Is War 2, Piltover vs. Zaun, he did Victor's verse. In which case, that was more of a rap too, so that... I'm not gonna say that makes it easier, it still takes a lot of work, and he's definitely a vocal talent. But you might find in your, you know, if you experiment around with this, you have an easier time doing Victor's voice with regular lines or raps than singing. Singing, it, it kind of messes with the audio a little bit too as well. I'll try and put up maybe another video this weekend, or this just the week of another Victor Sings Badly to show the point that I'm trying to make, but... This effect is almost done now in about 10 seconds, so I'm going to conclude the video about showing you how to just do Victor's voice in general. A little bit of last touches, and then we'll conclude the video. So now that the helmet effect is applied, kind of by habit from just watching a lot of Stefano's videos, I'm going to compress it again, actually. And then if we listen to the track, it should sound like this. How come no one wants to play kickball with Victor, eh? I have a, a cool hand, it's a cool claw, big stick. It's like summer camp all over again. Nobody wants to play kickball with Victor. Yep, and there you go. That's pretty much how I sound like Victor when I do Victor videos. I learned it again from Stefano's Rex. I really want to make sure I give him credit because I learned how to do this because of his videos. He has like a Cassidy video, a Thresh video, the Varus video, a whole lot of other stuff you're going to definitely want to go check out on his channel. So thank you so much for actually watching this video if you did. I really do appreciate that. And if you want me to explain more about this vocal effect, for example, maybe there's something I went too fast in, I skipped over something too fast or whatever, hit me up in the comment section down below so I can explain a bit more in depth about that. But I have gotten this request in the past when I've done a Victor video, like, how do you do it? What do you do? I'd use Audacity. You need nothing else but Audacity. So as long as you can get your hands on Audacity, you actually will be good to go. Now, I guess I will conclude the video by explaining my recording setup a little bit because it's like, well, what about a mic and stuff like that? Honestly speaking, as long as you know the noise removal effect, you might be able to get away with the mic on your computer if it's decent. I currently use a Dream Gear headset. You can find it in the local section of your Fred Meyer's electronics section. It should only cost 40 to 60 bucks as well. Furthermore, when it comes to a recording setup, you can use your own room. That should actually be good enough. Again, with the noise removal you know, technique, you might be able to get rid of a lot of echo in there if you don't have the greatest of microphones. You might be able to use your closet as well, even if it's just like one of those rolling closets and not like a closed closet that you can use like a sound booth. That should actually still be able to work too. Or another tip you could try and use is just like going out to your car because it's, it's pretty good air sealed, you know, vehicles. So that might actually work as a really great sound booth as well. Just sit in like the shotgun seat, set up your computer and stuff in there and then get your recording in there. So you won't need a lot of equipment. You won't need to take out like a lot of like foam and microphones and stuff to go out there. It might work for you depending on what your situation is. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video if you did. I don't know which video will be next because life be quite a mess. So until this time, take care from the Fire Good IFS. And thank you again for watching.